This is part two of the multi-source feedback instructions on PebblePad. In this video, we're going to have a look at the peer assessment. Uh, this consists of two components, one where we prepare a number of files in order for our peer to give feedback to us, and the other where we find the files that our peer has prepared for us in order to give feedback to them. And we're going to do so instructed by the competency overview, which is available in the multi-source feedback instructions, which you find in week eight of the PLS workbook on PebblePad. Let's look at how we implement these requested competencies. First, we're going to log on to PebblePad and we're going to click on resources. And in resources, we're going to find three files labeled MSF peer assessment, one for SICT, one for core, and one for PLS. And these three forms are the same, except for the competencies that we are going to be reviewing. And that is why these files have to be unique. So we're going to click on the first one, which is SICT, and uh, we're going to present a, a few pieces of information as metadata. So uh, we're going to label the file uh, MSF peer assessment year one as a, as a title. Then we're going to select psychological perspectives, SICT 1A PLS 1 as our program element. And we are going to select the date on which we are filling out this form as the date. Then we're going to deliver our name. So that is your name here. And we're going to fill out the name of our peer here your name and we are going to then select the appropriate respondent type which is fellow student and this is the metadata that is the same for all three of these multi-source feedback peer assessment forms and you're going to fill out all three of them so that leaves us with the competency questions that we might have so here we are going to consider the competencies that are requested within the SICT peer assessment so that is research researcher, communicator, and professional, and we are going to consider feedback questions that would help us improve as they relate to those competencies within that course. And when we have considered and delivered all of the feedback questions that we might want uh, feedback on, uh, and they might exceed beyond the requested competencies. So if you have something that fits more into the psychological citizen competency, uh, don't be afraid to mention that anyway. Uh, and once you've filled the form out to your liking, we're going to click on save and that is going to deliver the form to atlas where it will become accessible to our peer so again let's have a look at the overview we're going to fill out all three of the msf peer assessment forms and that is the first step of the peer assessment procedure in the second step, we are going to go to Atlas to find the files that our peer will have presented for us. Uh, we're going to click on the blue globe, which is going to open Atlas, and it's going to deliver a new overview with sections leading to different parts of PebblePad. For this part, we are going to find the uh, section labeled Core 1P1 2025 MSF Year 1, and we're going to find one for all three of the courses that we are going to present feedback about. We are going to click on that, uh, check that we are in the correct section, click on submissions, then click on FPN MSF Peer Assessment Core 1, so uh, the tab below, and then click on submissions to finally reveal the form that our peer has delivered to us. And you know the peer that you are giving feedback to, and then you click on the form that they have prepared for you to respond to. Then you instruct this file, you read what they have read as it relates to this particular course and again to the competencies that are part of this course which are available in the overview and then we consider our own observations again as they relate to this course at which point we are ready to present feedback to our peer and we find the feedback form by clicking on this blue square uh, clicking on 
I want to, and then on add feedback template. This shows us the feedback template overview for all of the possible competencies. And in the case of core, we are going to have a look at the expert and professional competencies. So regardless of what is filled out here, we know that at least those two competencies are requested of us to give feedback to. So if there are no questions there, you can still fill out your own observations. So let's have a look at what this form looks like. First, we find the narrative feedback. So here we present a bit of information uh, that might be a compliment or something that the, the peer did particularly well, something that you would like for them uh, to continue to do. And here is something that they uh, might be able to work on, might be able to grow from, something that they don't quite do appropriately quite yet, something that you want to give them in terms of improvement. And when we have filled out the narrative feedback, um, we uh, are able to select one of the sub competencies. Uh, and for this particular uh, competency, because we are looking at core and in core, we are supposed to look at the expert and professional rubric for expert, because that's the form that we are filling out. We are going to select sub competency 1A and 1C, which are represented here. So this is 1A. And this is 1C, and we're going to consider these uh, different descriptions and choose the ones that we consider to be most appropriate to our peer. Uh, from there, we can have a look at the additional sub competencies and select again the ones that we feel are appropriate to our peer, uh, but those are not mandatory. Uh, A and C, however, are. And when we have had a look at all of these sub competencies, select the ones that we consider to be appropriate and finally give an overall qualification of their ability as we consider it within the expert competency, we select one of these three. And when we have done that, we click on save and release, which releases the feedback to the peer. And uh, because this is just the expert competency, we then again click on add feedback template and go back and choose the next requested competency, which in the case of core is professional. And we are going to again fill out narrative feedback and select the requested professional competencies, which again we see in the competency overview is now 7C, 8A, B, C and E. And again, at the very bottom, we fill out the overall competency, the overall qualification rather, and uh, we can have a look at the various additional sub competencies that are not requested, but might still be appropriate. And then we click save and release. And that takes care of the feedback procedure for peer assessment within the core course. We then do this procedure two more times for the SICT and for the PLS assessment, again, uh, given their respective competencies. This is the procedure to both uh, request and receive peer assessment, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.